Okay, so you are not gonna find a quicker, easier dinner to make than this one, and so much flavor. I'm gonna show you how. The restaurant version of this dish involves deep frying green beans, doing all these extra things. I'm gonna cut all of that out. We're gonna make it really healthy and really quick. So first up though, we wanna flavor our pork. So I've got some pork mince. I'm gonna add some soy sauce, a little dash of sugar, and some cornstarch. So the cornstarch will actually thicken up our sauce in the pan. Let's give that a bit of a mix. And now the secret ingredient that makes this dish really special is the dried shrimp. So you can get these from an Asian grocer or in most sort of Asian sections of supermarkets these days. And you just wanna soak them for a little while in some hot water, just 10 minutes or so, just to soften them up. And these guys are gonna add tons of flavor, tons of umami, and a little bit of saltiness as well. Now, if you're not a shrimpy person, you could totally leave these out, but I do think they add something a little extra. Okay, now we want a few of these dried chilies to add some heat and some flavor. Just gonna cut those into a few bite-sized pieces. These chilies will infuse a little bit of sort of smoky, dried chili flavor into our dish. And that, my friends, is all the preparation you need to do. Now we get to the cooking part. Just need a little bit of oil, some garlic, and my pork. for my dried shrimp and those chilies. And the green beans. Okay, so now we want a little bit of soy sauce. And some water. So the water's gonna help to steam and cook those green beans. Let's give that a bit of a mix. Now just put a lid on and let those beans steam away for about four or five minutes until they're tender, but still a little bit crunchy. Mm. So good, and how simple is that? So easy. Okay, now I just wanna turn that heat off, and this is my big tip for whenever you're using sesame oil, turn the heat off and then add your sesame oil in because if you put it in at the beginning you lose all the flavor and the fragrance. Okay so just serve those out onto a plate on my beans and now that epic pork and just to make things a little bit extra spicy and a little bit extra special I'm going to use my homemade chili oil. You can use a store board as well but if you're interested in making this I've got a video for this on my YouTube channel. Ugh. All those flavors, and there you have it, dinner done in a flash.